Lee, and you know, if you can nail this mindset here at the PR7s, this is exactly how the World Rugby 7 Series operates. Just because you lose at day one, you still have very important and crucial points to play for that will add up in the final competition, which will be played in Pennsylvania. Dallin and myself will be there. That's why this competition is so exciting. Match is still to come after this. You've got the women's final, the locals against the headliners, and then the men's final, the team Texas from here against the local side as well. There's 9.30 Eastern, so three big games still to go here on stop 105 in the Premier Rugby 7s. It's of course the Eastern Conference kickoff. All information you can find out at PR7s.com. The fans have come out in their colourful outfits. It's what do you expect on the 7s World Series and what we expect in the Premier Rugby 7s as well. All sorts of dance moves as well. Some of them not recommended. But nonetheless, here come the two sides getting ready. It's Ben Punkerman and Sam Walsh. Two capped US Eagles. One returning from injury. One a youngster on the radio screen from Boston and Hong Kong. Ready to go for the third place game. This knockout format has really been absolutely edgy to see stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Both of us are literally on the edge of our seats. So, you know, there's so much more to play for. This is straight into semi-final, straight into points that will contribute. Every single team in this competition, both the Eastern and the Western Conference, have their eyes on Washington, D.C. Only the top two teams from each conference will make it there to the final championship round. So every single point that these teams can get, crucial. Ben Pickerman ready to go. Two years out of the game. Mike Friday is watching the USA Sevens head coach and the Southern Headliners led by their captain Welsh, coached by Tim Stanfield, DTH Fanamava, Jason Kelly and Steve Laporte are the coaches of the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. They are first on your screen with a solid lineup. Absolutely, if we see here, Steel Toes lineup. Of course, as always, keep your eye on Ben Pinkelman, number two. And we also saw number one, David Hightower, just tower down that sideline in the last game, score a try. And the whole franchise has been using the tactic of breath work to calm down, focus, be present in the moment, in the moment, which is super important in sevens. You've only got seven minutes to gather your focus together as we head over to the headliners team. And of course, Kitsuna White, number 77, has been massive already. Bailey, Don Bailey, the man on the screen, huge. Been trying to keep up from him at the gym at the hotel all week. Impossible. So the headliners have some pretty amazing names on their roster as well, Dallin, and we'll be looking to make sure the people know why. That's right, they've played in every PR7s event to date. They were the United Champion last year. The franchise was third place in the men's competition for the year 2023 here in Austin, Texas. Lewis Gray gets us going. In black, the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. And the ball sits down and they claim the kickoff nicely. Across field to Ethan Hager. Looking for a switch, takes a gap himself. Gray comes in support. Misha Shoran from Kazakhstan, the international player. He's on the field wearing 16. Great international flair in this tournament. Wormer across to Big Ben Pickleman. Nice dish in the offload. Baton is there supporting. The kitchen mouse picking up the scraps as it comes to the left-hand side now. Again cutting back in. Aki Raymond does really well. Raymond feeds Wormer for the corner. And Alex Wormer scores first for the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. Now Wormer caught them napping. He wasn't just warm that time, he was hot. Right on the money. If we look here, Steelers just wouldn't give in. Again and again, they step back to the short side and the headliners were just left guessing, didn't know what way to go. And in the end, it was Warmer who went over. But all four players involved made the headliners work and work and they couldn't work that whole time. And a successful conversion as well. A lovely kick to convert Alex Wormer's try, the industrial engineer from Cal Poly. And there's Jason Kelly, former USA Eagle via New Zealand, born in Tamaru, long-time Denver Barbarians coach as well. His side up, seven points to nothing. Deep kick. Walsh has it, Kitioni Vai is with him. Now it switches, Vai in a bit of traffic, gets Aki Raymond. Brings him down a solid tackle, Don Bailey is there as well. And can bench half a house. He was in the USS Sevens pool and Tiger Rugby back in the day. Chevalier, the playmaker in midfield, nice little dummy. Pinkelman's ahead of him, he wants to go back the other way, says Chevy. Gets on his bike and leaves the ball behind. Pittsburgh Steel Toes now with possession, vital for them. And they'll take the scrum. 
Yeah, nice and patient there with the steel toes, not biting in, but Dallin, someone might have a better look than us. Yeah, Wendy Young, pitch side. What do you got for us, Wendy? Yeah, talking to these coaches, steel toes, really wanting to keep that shape on defense and make sure they have space. And for the headliners, really want to play what's in front of them. They did a lot of over-the-top balls in the first game. Don't need to do that. Play up the middle. Yeah, certainly see if they can adjust their play. Aki Raymond on the field, known as the Nigerian Nightmare in picture. Don't answer your email when he sends something. The spammer, Aki, great man from Lagos. Played with the old blue as well. Great social media account. His team has possession. Lewis Gray oh, leaves it behind the shore and a little pick up here for the Southern headliners. An opportunity for them. Habib lays it back. <whistles> Penalty, Kitty Vai and Sam Walsh with a quick tap. One jump step and a dummy as the ball is awkward for Bailey. Pinkelman almost had it away to Wormer again. Geez, headliners were in danger if Pinkelman got that ball away legally. But that was really cool to hear from Wendy that Jason Kelly steel toes wanted them to stay connected on defense because I think that's what win what's winning them at the moment. What's winning for them, we see. Bit of a double knock on here. First Bailey couldn't handle it, and then Pinkelman just lets it out of his fingers. So in the end, it's steel toes, which I think is on the back end of some really, really good defense. Yeah, we saw that from the women's side winning 22 0 in the earlier game. Take third. Defense wins. Matches in the game of sevens. Aki Raymond sets off on a run. Aki Raymond, the Nigerian nightmare. What a breakout and the offload. Time to perfection. Ethan Hager is there in support. But Aki Raymond is like Starbucks. He's absolutely everywhere. Wow, that was incredible. Aki Raymond, after a long period on defense, he just ignites this circuit in front of him. As you see there, picks up the ball, injects himself right down the middle. But the ability from Hager to cross across the screen here as he comes across like that to read the play, read where the defense is just not watching. That was excellent, excellent play. So Hager, Nigeria Nightmare, quite a combo just like the white chocolate mocker from Starbucks. Wow. There it is, a break for Raymond goes to the side. Hager, all Canadian University team. Combining superbly. An answer needed here from the Southern headliners. But the ball sits the other way. Bateman now across to the try scorer, Hager. Floats one over the top. Perfect timing for the pass. Misha Shoren. That is a try of note for the international player from Kazakhstan to Austin, Texas. Welcome to the PR Sevens. Wow, Misha Shoren. That was a for sure in. See here, headliners just couldn't wrap it up as much as they'd like to. They're not a bad outfit, are the headliners? So this skip pass here by Hager, just on the money. And he runs so quick, he probably could have run all the way back to Kazakhstan. You'd blink and you'd miss him. Wow, that was awesome. Great score. He said rugby fulfilled his dream to see the world. His family still lives in Kazakhstan, but his goal is to get him to the United States. But we wish Misha well. He's doing superbly in this game. They're up 19 points to nothing. There's about a minute 30 to go in the first half. Really cool combinations the Steel Toes are finding at the moment, working with each other. Commentators curse just as I say that. The kicker doesn't work with the 10 metre line. I apologise to Steel Toes for that one. Yeah, so it doesn't go 10 metres, so that means the opposition get an opportunity to have a scrum or a quick tap at the halfway line. So they take position, so it's got to go over those 10 metres. And Rubio, you guys were training, of course, for your team. Would you kick it at the 10? Would you kick it to the 15? What were your tactics? But yeah, both? Look, it's basically, if you kick it at the 10, you're going for position. And if you kick deep, you're going for territory. So in sevens, position is so vital that kicking right on that 10 metre line is often the tactic. But again, if you kick it eight or nine metres, you pass over position. So it's a gamble and a fine line, but that's what makes seven so exciting. Yeah, it was great to kick it nine or 10 metres. Here comes Welsh <laughs> now to the outside. Kitty Onivai, one oh, get out of here. Kitty Onivai, forget Bitcoin, here's the future. Oh, oh. duck, duck, goose. That is what you call a goosey, ladies and gentlemen. No one better today if we look here nice strong platform from the forwards which the backs will love one goosey from the captain then bang it's the change in pace which makes it so hard for the defender to look at where to target their tackle and that kick looks amazing as well Dylan. wow that's really really important for the headliners going in the first half 
Yeah, that's a strike of note, Kitiyoni Vai. What a player, full score here in the tournament. But a special one as well, the big strong fed. Final moment of the first half, 19-7 in the men's third place game. Men's final will see New York locals against the Texas team. Hager lifted well for the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. Ben Pickleman wants to go to Oranges. And that is the whistle there. Their side up 19 points to seven. Now. Very seven intriguing seven. first off we just saw there and a good comeback from the headliners. Yeah, absolutely. Playing the game a long time, both of us, Dallin, and we both know how important that try is just before halftime going into the break. Just gives the teal toes something to worry about as they go into their halftime huddle. Yeah, let's listen to Tim Stanfield, DTH from Amaba in the headliners huddle. Steel Toes controlled this game really well with those three early tries. Yeah, absolutely, and I think Pinkelman there, the man on the screen, and that man Hager as well, really controlled it. They haven't panicked, they've stayed cool. Their defense has been really patient, really connected. And Pinkelman, you don't see him kick too often on the World Series, but he was the one who kicked it out as well, so it just shows how much control he's helping his team with. Yeah, the Olympian Ben Pinkelman, great to see him back. Colorado State University product. Sporting the reverse haircut as well. It's good too, the, the body language from the headline as we saw there, they're still right in this. They want this, they want to work hard for each other. And that's the kind of body language you want to see at halftime. Big second half to go here in the men's third place game in Austin, Texas. Ben Pinkelman has it now. Good grab from the US Eagle veteran. Has been doing a lot of coaching these days as well. Hager under pressure. Still the penalty comes their way. Three quick tries they had in the first half. Wormer now to the Nigerian nightmare, Aki Raymond. Good strong tackle on him. The ball does change hands. Yeah, damn. But you've got to give it to the headliners. You know, you can you can hear them talking, chatting, trying to pump each other up. And that defense, they just came in on the Nigerian nightmare. I'd want to shut him down too, Dylan. He's <laughs> extremely difficult to handle. He's one of the best in the business, is Aki Raymond. Few million followers on TikTok as well. Colson Warner, oh, has the nightmare all over him. It's good too when you don't have position at a scrum. All you can really do is just put the pressure on, push against the forwards, the halfback, putting pressure on the other halfback. Second chance here for the Southern Headliners. Just a lone try from Kitty Onivai. The international Sevens World Series winner from New Zealand has possession here with a big jump step. Can't get rid of one, so Warner loops around really well. Provide a bit of space there for Paul Habib. Ducks down against David Hightower. Good recycle for the headliners. Width for Vai. Jasper Green linking down the chain. Samuel Biutu. He cuts back in and returns the favor, but the handling is not there, unfortunately, for the Southern headliners. That was their comeback. Well, let's hear from Wendy Young. Wendy, you caught up with some of the coaches at halftime. What were their thoughts? I did. The intensity down here is just immeasurable with this score line. Steel Toes really want to focus on the small details. Get that chop tackle, get over the ball, get it back. Headliners need to stick with their system. They've been working on it all week. They've got to implement it now. Yeah, that's it's fascinating insight we're getting with Wendy Young down there at the sideline, talking to both the coaches every single game. And I can tell you, it's it's really difficult to stay in system when you, you know, you might want to tackle it all the way over there, do something over here, but you've got to stay in system with the team. I can say firsthand, it's it's not that easy. 
but the team to do it best often is the best chemistry. Let's see what David Hightower can do. Looks to go on the outside, get short of one. Hightower, the sprinter. Get the measuring tape out here. Chevalier. And it's David Hightower that wins the race all the way from his try line. This man is something special. And the Steel Toes have their full score. Hightower, his name says it all. He was up, he was up, he was away down that sideline. He had to get rid of a headline as defender though. Had to use his physicality, but in the end, this guy knows how to run. End-to-end -end entertainment is what you get in this sport. And Mr. Hightower did not let us down. He says his biggest role model is his little brother, Noel, who coaches Indiana Pacers and has a book published this year. 24 points to seven, David Hightower puts his side further into the lead. There's a lot to the sideline too. He's coming off, he's done his job. Coming to the sideline. Fully in control. You know they've got that good horses, Pinkelman. They've got the playmakers, Hager. And they've got the specialties on that wing, like Hightower. Deep restart. Walsh. Calbert has it for the Southern Headliners. They've really had a quiet tournament so far, winning, going down to the Texas team, 19 points to 10. A lot of brilliant playmakers, but not able to put it together in these couple of games in knockout rugby. Lucas Schick now with possession, the Canadian rocket. And the defense from the Steel Toes, Wormer, and they have it again. Yeah, frustrating for the headliners once again. Steel Toes just all over it. The defense is just relentless, it's patient. It's everything really, and I guess the score goes to show They've just been really clinical. Don't get me wrong, the headliners have done some amazing things. Got some amazing players like that one on your screen. He's trying to come back on. But the Steel Toes have just really held control. Yeah, and they're able to keep their feet. And of course, the players on the ground with possession, they can't hold on to it. So the Steel Toes get in that penalty for that reason. Ethan Hager goes down the short side, a plan move. Hager hurdling his way to the line. Another excellent strike from the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. They just know how to finish. Hager. He's just been everywhere all day. In round one, he was doing the same kind of carry on. In round two, look at this. Always constantly keeping the defense guessing. He's just really had the complete performance today. He's definitely somebody you'd want on your team. Yeah, two tries in this game for Ethan Hager. The Canadian star. Hit for the Branford Harlequins. Kick unsuccessful, 29 points to seven. Two minutes to go. Hager's in charge, and so are the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. Really cool move, too, from Mickey Bateman, who I got a shout out. Says he's from New Zealand. So they identified there was nobody defending on that short side. So even at this end of the game, tactically, they're just ahead. Series that stopped with one of five as it falls down to Alex Wormer. And again, numbers are plenty. Bateman almost gets it on the end of that. Hager is there looking for his hat-trick. And unselfishly pops it to Malik Bryant. That scores in the corner for the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. They are really running right here in the third place game. Yeah, they got plenty to be proud of. It's definitely taken the whole team. As we see here, Hager's able to clean up. Bit of a ground ball. Even trying to direct play as well. And it's Bryant in the end who gets the goods for his team. Conversion looking to come up. You can see the series schedule there coming up. The Western Conference kickoff in Minneapolis on June 24th. And then San Jose for the Western Conference Championship. Pittsburgh will be there for the Eastern Conference final as well. Before the main Washington DC will be the championship round where the top sides from each of the different conferences will go through. Two from each will play in a thrilling weekend at Audi Field. We start to the 36 points to 17. So the lead out now. Yeah, the headliners won't be able to get the W this afternoon, but they're going to be gifted some position here. And looking at the clock, this will probably be the last play. 
And when you knock it on, of course, you're allowed the option line out of scrum. They go for the scrum. I would do with a front row like that. All over six foot. Absolute units. They know they've got more to give. Yeah, you see Sean Clark there, nearly seven feet tall. Also with the American Raptors and Super Rugby Americas. Played on the wing. Played a loose forwards, former NFL rookie as well. So referee Jacob Gonzalez just gets them steady. Final moment of the men's third place game before our women's and men's finals come up at Q2 Stadium. Will Chevalier. Walsh, good ball, crisp ball to Kitiani Vai that takes on his opposite number, Misha Shoran. Possession spilt. That brings the full time to this game and confirmation of three points in the series standings for the Steel Toes. And Ben Pinkerman can smile and decides to finish on a high here, defeating the headline of 36 points to seven. Really, really, really good performance by the Steel Toes. I think the whole franchise, the men's and women's team, really finished on a high. Showed the rest of the competition what they're made of. You can see there high fiving. Plenty of chemistry has come out of this. And then conversely, headliners, definitely, we know they pack power. We know they pack power. We know they pack a punch. And they'll want to give way, way more at the next tournament. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There's a whole lot more action coming your way. This is one of the hardest sports in the world, I believe, in the Olympics. And I think the US, as you can see on show here today, one of the fastest growing and improving nations in the world right now. A beautiful advert for the game. Cheers, Sean Clark smiling with the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. Side from Pennsylvania will host us. Hey, the Eastern Conference Finals, July 23, High Rock Stadium. Ethan Hager was at standing, the Canadian flyer. Brian Ito was exceptional yet again. And Ben Pickley said, love to see the smile on his face. And a bad injury has come back from that, healed up really well over the last couple of years. And the US can expect to see him in an American jersey one of these days leading up to Olympic Games. Euro 7 is delivering a platform for these players to get back to their best and, of course, challenge the world's best as well. It's so cool to see Pinkman back here doing what he does. Just an absolute story of bravery. And, you know, I, I truly believe rugby's got a place for all kinds of athletes. You've got your superstars out on the wing, sprinting, but you've also got absolute workhorses in the middle. You've got your playmakers, you've got your smarts players. you just got absolutely everything. And this sport is just gut-busting. If you've ever wondered what it's like, I urge you to go down to your local club. Just give it a try. They'd love to see extra numbers, but, oh, Dallin, what a day it has been so far. Yeah, we can even hear now for one of the flies, David Hightower is now pitch side with Wendy Young. David, what a fantastic win for the Pittsburgh Steel Toes. You've joined your women and getting some points for the next round. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Like, uh, we, we saw the women do it, and we couldn't let them down. Because every point matters. Everything matters in this game, building up to the finals. And it was just a great thing coming together as a team. You're really animated here. You're animated on the sideline. You're really exciting to watch. What's your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part has to be I just running those long tries. You know, it seems tiring, but in the moment, it's fun. Afterwards, I'm just like, ah. Ah, yeah. You had a good one there. You went about 90 meters. You were able to outpass your, outpace your guy. Former track star, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ran track. I coach track now. So my athletes are watching, and I, and I got to make them proud. I got to make them proud. And you did today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.